Yo, what is going on guys? Johnny here. Welcome back to another Call of Duty World War II beta video. So now, at this point, the beta is already over. It actually ended yesterday, and I played this game a lot, okay? I put hours into this game because I thought I would need some time to actually, like, kind of prepare for, you know, what was coming. But truth be told, I am sort of a Call of Duty veteran. I have been around the scene for a while, so honestly, it wasn't too hard coming back to Boots on the Ground. It took just a little bit of getting used to because the game felt a little weird. As it turns out, the sensitivity at default is three, and that's just way too low for me at least. So then I just bumped it over to five, and we were golden afterwards. Um, it was like I was playing Black Ops 1 again. People say it's like Black Ops 2, but I have to disagree. It's just a tad bit slower than that. It's like, it's somewhere between Black Ops 1 and Modern Warfare Remastered, leaning more towards Black Ops 1. Um, you know, you still have pretty fluid movement for the most part. It is not, well, it's smooth, it is not fluid. Those are two completely different things and I will get into that. So now that the beta is over, I've actually had some time to, you know, look over the footage that I have and then think about the weapons that I saw the weapons that I didn't see as much and really collect my thoughts as to what I think about the beta and of course people say it's just the beta dude it's gonna change well yes if, even though it is a beta the core game okay the like the core the base the foundation of the beta is the full game okay they're not just gonna scrap it the foundation the base of what the beta is that's going to be the full game that's something very important to keep in mind and now with that out of the way let's just jump right into it and first off I want to talk about the setting first off I was honestly super skeptical at first when the leaks first came out that it was going to be set in World War II um, I thought that the time period was really going to hold the game back and apparently that's not completely true I'm going to go ahead and say that the setting is perfect it only holds it back maybe 20 to 25 percent so the game in my opinion is going to turn out to be 75 to 80 percent fantastic because honestly I did have a lot of fun I don't know if it was a honeymoon stage because it's a new Call of Duty I don't know what it was all I know is that I had fun I had legitimate fun I did not want to get off sniping on the other hand was a little weird I will get to that but the setting did not hold us back at all we had plenty of guns in the beta and if you guys have played battlefield 1 you know that those guns were also around during world war 2 obviously so there is a huge variety of weapons that sledgehammer games could choose from and so in my opinion sledgehammer games will have no shortage of guns however i am one of those people that like to jump into a call of duty and see these fictitious imaginary guns that they made up guns that are loosely based off real life guns but you know with their own twist with their own design and everything i love that about call of duty you know black ops 2 it was fantastic that's actually where i started now the place where i really think that the time setting really holds this game back is the movement system i know they said they were going right back to the roots but i did not expect this we have been pampered so much in these last few call of duties with the limited sprint and the jumping you know screw the jumping we can do without it this is a fun game with or without the jetpacks unlimited sprint though has to be a thing they have to have some sort of basic training or something i know that they're not going to do that because of airborne you have sprint for longer distances and it is significantly longer than the default distance and then on top of that you run faster so i know that there's movement perks but moving forward i really do hope that treyarch gives us unlimited sprint that changes the pace of the game significantly it honestly really really does and on top of that we should have a basic training that's just like fast hands if you guys remember call of duty black ops 3 there was quick draw and you could use that however your sprint on time was still pretty slow you had to equip the fast hands perk with the fast hands perk along with quick draw your sprint out time was basically zero. It was maybe like 100 milliseconds, which is a third of what it was at the beginning of the beta. They then dropped it down to 200 milliseconds and quick draw isn't really going to be helping you much there. I really do think that in order for rifles to compete with shotguns and SMGs in this Call of Duty, there needs to be a basic training that's just like fast hands that drastically reduces your sprint out time. That would be great. I don't care about reloading faster. I don't care about gung ho, you know, gung slinger as it's called here, running while shooting from the hip. What I want is a basic training that pretty much almost eliminates the sprint out time. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there's a difference between smooth and fluid. This is really smooth, okay? I like the movement system. It is smooth, it doesn't feel clunky, it's not Battlefield 1, and it's not Rainbow Six Siege. Those are clunky, those are not the smoothest, but this is definitely not fluid. And so what I mean is, please do not send any hate my way, I promise I will do my best to explain myself. But if you guys have played Infinite Warfare, it has a mode called Tactical Team Deathmatch. That means it is boots on the ground, okay? There is no jetpacking in this mode. It's just TDM without the jetpacks. That's really all it is. And this is super fluid. You have unlimited sprint, 
the movement there is just so fluid like it's so natural and it feels so good that doesn't mean that this game does not feel good like i said it feels great but these are just some thoughts that i have move moving forward for the next call of duty it's never too early to try to improve that one before it comes out and honestly that's really all i gotta say the only way to make rifles really competitive with with smgs and with shotguns in this game is just to give us a limited sprint i know they're not going to do that but more than anything the one thing i really want to see the absolute most is just a basic training that pretty much eliminates sprint out times that would be great because like i said i do not care for any of the other basic trainings i really don't this game is very solid and i think it's going to be very very good like i said it's just a beta but as far as the full game goes i'm super excited i'm super stoked i am ready for a new call of duty let me know what you guys see in the comments down below if you enjoyed the video slap a like on this bitch and also if you're around here bros the channel i do everything from commentary news gameplays leaks glitches i said news and pretty soon i will start doing destiny that is actually tomorrow when it comes out actually tonight for me at midnight huh actually no uh whatever <laughs> i'm confusing you and me i'm just gonna leave it right here and i'll see you guys later peace